Iran's most prominent scientist, the man described by U.S. and Israeli intelligence as the architect of that country's covert nuclear weapons program, was killed in an apparent assassination today. Nick Schifrin reports on who he was and why his death is so significant. Omna Iranian media report that Mohsen Fakhrizadeh was driving east of the capital Tehran when a car bomb exploded near his car and gunmen shot and killed him. Analysts say he was the J. Robert Oppenheimer of Iran's nuclear program, its lead scientist, coordinator and manager. Western intelligence assessed the program was shelled in 2003, but in 2018, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu unveiled a stolen archive of Iran's pre-2003 nuclear plans and said Fakhrizadeh was responsible for continuing the program secretly. A key part of the plan was to form new organizations to continue the work. This is how Dr. Mohsen Fakhrizadeh, head of Project Ahmad, put it. Remember that name, Fakhrizadeh. Nobody has taken responsibility for his killing, but today Iranian officials blamed Israel. To discuss this, I'm joined by Norman Rule, who had a 34-year career at CIA including a station chief in the Middle East, and was the national intelligence manager for Iran until September 2017. Norman Rule, welcome to the News Hour. What's the significance of his killing, and what's the impact on Iran's nuclear program? Good evening. The killing of the 59-year-old Iranian official removes from Iran its greatest uh, institutional memory on its weaponization program. Uh, it will be very difficult for Iran to replace this, and it will actually uh, impair their ability to reestablish a weaponization program should they decide to do so. What's the message being sent by whoever killed him, and not only today, uh, but the recent death of a top al-Qaeda figure reported in Tehran and mysterious explosions uh, throughout Iran, including uh, at one of Iran's uh, top nuclear facilities? These incidents, as well as the killing of uh, IRGC Quds Force General Qasem Soleimani earlier this year, message to the Iranians that their most sensitive individuals, personnel, and issues are uh, not beyond uh, the reach of Western um, uh, security services. Ideally, it would tell Iranian officials that they should not undertake a covert nuclear program or terrorist activities uh, or maintain a broader relationship with al-Qaeda, because doing so would quickly come to the attention of Western institutions, intelligence organizations, uh, and uh, Western governments uh, would take immediate action, which Iran cannot prevent. Critics of these kinds of uh, killings uh, have an argument that they don't stop Iran's nuclear program. In fact, they can create an incentive for Iran to pursue a nuclear program, and that assassinations uh, might create short-term successes uh, but can have long-term negative consequences. Uh, what do you think about those criticisms? I think it is uh, uh, questionable as to whether or not his assassination will uh, encourage Iran to undertake a nuclear weaponization program. I think in Tehran right now, uh, anyone they might put in his place is probably wondering uh, at what point he or she would fall under uh, the focus of Western institutions uh, who might undertake a similar uh, assassination. President-elect Biden uh, and his team say they want to re-enter the Iran nuclear deal. Uh, what do you make of the timing uh, of this attack uh, just 54 days before inauguration? A couple of points. First, an attack of this nature would have taken a lot of time to plan. So this isn't something that uh, would have initiated in the, in the recent few weeks. At the same time, I think it sends a message to the Iranians that regional players uh, will take security into their, old, uh, their own hands if they believe the U.S. is unable or unwilling to do so. And so, do, therefore, does this have an impact, do you believe, uh, on President-elect Biden's plans to return to the Iran nuclear deal? For the Iranians, the primary impetus to return to a nuclear deal is their need for financial relief, particularly in uh, they need to bolster their reserves to maintain their currency and the health of their banking institutions. I think for the Biden administration, uh, looking at this deal, they're going to have to respect uh, the, con the security concerns of regional uh, actors to a greater extent to avoid other incidents such as this upsetting nuclear negotiations. You mentioned Iran's main goals. Uh, given those goals, how likely is it that Ar Iran responds in a major way? 
There is certainly going to be a heated discussion with Iran uh, regarding a response. Uh, there will be some who thought the response to the death of Qasem Soleimani was insufficient. And then, of course, you've had the reports of explosions, the death of a senior al-Qaeda official in Navis. Iran will need to reestablish deterrence. Iran will need to uh, show uh, national pride has been protected. At the same time, they won't want to undertake an action that risks a conventional war or upsets the prospect of the financial relief that would come from a return to the nuclear deal. So Iran is going to have to decide exactly what they do that uh, walks a very fine line. Norman Rule, thank you very much. My pleasure.